Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Destiny 2, the new one that is Lightfall, how to fix if Destiny 2 Lightfall is having crashing issue, won't launch or not loading, freezing and stuttering, black screen, stuck on loaded screen, low FPS drop and how we can fix all these kind of issues. So let's move to the workaround. So first thing what we have to do is we just have to restart the PC and that is what we have to do. For restarting the PC, just go over here in the star, click on this icon, go for a restart because the restart is a simple step but for some users this did work in the past and that is why I recommend you when you're having all these kind of obstacles to try to play the game, try with a restart as a first and beginning step. Next one is all about, we have to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go over here on the game, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So when you click on this one, as you can see, this is going to take a lot of time because the game is around 87.04 GB. So just click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is, if any files are corrupted, and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And this is what you have to do when it comes to how to fix verify integrity of game file. So this is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So over here we are in the Steam. We can do this in two way. One is we can launch the game from the Steam or you can navigate to the installation folder folder from the steam very easily or we can go via going through file explorer so i'll show you both because we should know how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer because we need this to know in the down the road when we come to few steps so the first one click over here in the destiny 2 right click and go to properties go to local file click on browse so what happens is you are very easily redirected to the installation folder so that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, destiny 2, right? This is where it's being taken. Now from here, you have to select the application folder. Then you just have to open this and try to play the game. So this is how you launch the game from the installation folder rather than launch the game from Steam itself. Next one, like I said, if you wanted to know how to navigate to the installation folder, so just go to this PC. So over here, as you can see, I'm only having local disk, which is of about one TB. So even though by default, every game which we download from the Steam, by default, it will be over here in the local disk C. Now, once we change this to local disk D or E, that will be changed. But by default, it will be in local disk C. So over here, as you can see, so the game is installed here. So I'm showing you how to navigate to it. So first open local disk C. Now scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Now scroll down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go to Destiny 2 Light file. Now from here this is what it is. So this is the application. So open this and try to play the game and this is what you have to do. So next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So that this can also be done. So there is two methods. The first one is all about we have to go over here to the installation folder. So just right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. So what happens is we are redirected to the installation folder. So now from here, we have to select the application, right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator. We have to check this and go for apply and go for OK. So once after this, if you're trying to launch the game, the folder will be in the running the program as an administrator and you have to try this out and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, this is what you have to do. This is from we very easily redirected to the installation folder and this is what you have to do. Next one is all about, apart from that, there are a few things which you have to try out. Next one, just go to the same procedure properties. Over here, as you can see, if you navigate to the compatibility, click on disable full screen optimization. So just click on this one, go for apply and go for okay. If after trying disable full screen optimization, if this is not working, then just remove this. Okay. Keep in mind, 
Sometimes running the game on compatibility mode did work for some users. So you can go to compatibility mode, select this run this program in compatibility mode and click on Windows 8 and try to go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. So this did work for some users as well. But for some users, when they tried this, the issue became more severe. So if that is the case, you have to uncheck this, only click run this program as an administrator. I mean, you have to check this only, then go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. And this is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we have to change the language in of Windows. So according to your appropriate language, for that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to settings, now go to time and language. Now over here, select language and region. Now, as you can see, we have two options. The first one is here, as you can see, I have selected the language that is English United States and I'm from India. But over here, if you wanted to change the language that can be done. So imagine if you're from some of the countries like, you know, uh, Germany, Spain, even Arabic. So just click on uh, add language. So we are having many options. Like you can go for Arabic, Algeria, even Arabic, Egypt. And if you go for Middle East, you can change this to Germany, Spain, Chinese, Japanese, and all those things. You can change according to your need and that can be done very easily. Once you set this to your native language and the region has been set into your respective country. So if you are from US or any other, just set this to US. If you're on any other countries like Germany or Europe, just do the same. And once the language, native language has been set, then just try to play the game. I don't know how it is related, but this did work for many users as well. This is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So here, deleting the saved game file will be losing all your documents. But keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be having a lot of uh, help. This did work. So what we have to do is just go to this PC. First, go to File Explorer and go to this PC, go to Documents. Over here, you will be able to see the folder destiny to lightfall so delete the folder so when you do this you'll be losing all the game progress but no issue keep it do this because this did work so you can try this out next one is all about try launching by pressing alt and tab so when you click on launch at the same moment press alt and tab on a keyboard that is what you have to do just press alt and tab on a keyboard and that did work for many users and that is why i'm recommending you this will work for you as well so that did help it. So I found this particular method in the Reddit. So this did uh, for many users for the previous version of Destiny. Uh, when they try this, that did work out for them. So you have to try this as well. So this is what you have to do. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to window security. That is what you have to do. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. Go for control panel. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to Allow AMP or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you have to check whether Destiny is here already added. So over here, as you can see, the Destiny is already added. But keep in mind, you have to over here parallelly, there is two options that are private and public. You have to select both. So if it is unchecked, then issue will be become more severe. So you have to uncheck uh, you have to select both that is you have to select both private and public once it is done you just have to close everything and try to play the game that is what you have to do so next one what we have to try is we have to move to next one that is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices which is already connected so what happens is right now when you try to play the game for any users they end up in crashing issue so what they need to do is they just need to do this. They just have to do like this. So what they need is when uh, you are trying to launch the game before that, if you are trying to play the game with the controller, if you are uh, trying to play the game with controllers and if any generic uh, keypad Logitech builds are connected and all these things will be already connected over there and there will be a lot of issue like this. So that is why we are ending up in this issue. So what we have to do is this is what you have to do. So when you have the is these kind of issues, what you have to do is you just have to uh, eject everything from the USB port. That means if the controllers remove it, so uh, generic pad, remove everything and multiple monitors. If you are using dual monitors, just remove everything. Once after that, uh, remove everything, launch the game. So if you wanted to play the game with the controller, after launching the game, connect back the controllers and try to play the game. And that is what you have to do. This is an important step which you have to try out as well. Next one is all about we have to update the graphics card. That is an important step. So I'll be providing uh, 
So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So when you click on the NVIDIA link, what happens is you just have to go over here in the drivers. Now from here, as you can see, you'll be getting this thing. Now we have to select or mark the respective needs, like what is your configuration? What is your requirement? Everything should be marked. So what happens is over here in the product type, you have to select the GeoForce product series should be according to your configuration. So that is Geo, uh, in my case, that is GeoForce RTX 14 series. So product is GeoForce RTX 14090 laptop GPU. And the operating system should be Windows 11 because I'm using right now Windows 11. So I have to select everything and I have to go for start search. So when you go for this, you will be getting the latest version, which is rolled out on 8th February. That is 528.49 version. Now over here, as you can see, it is suitable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Go for a uh, language that is English US and you have to go for the file size is 814.59 MB. So what you have to do is you just have to download this one. This is what you have to do. Download this one. Once you download this one, install it. After that, restart your PC and try to play the game. This is for the NVIDIA users. And if you are for the AMD users, then just go for this one. Now go over here, then just navigate to the AMD, select the graphics. Now select the respective model and give every, give every details you need to know. And then we'll be getting options like Windows 11 64-bit, Windows 10 64-bit. So here you have to select Windows 11. If you're on Windows 11, download this version. And if you're on Windows 10, download this version. After that, try to re uh, restart your PC. Once restart is successfully done, then just go over here and try to play the game. And this is what you have to do. So most probably when you update the graphics card, the issue has to be fixed. But for some users, it end up in nightmares as well. So I'll tell you why. But before that, there is one more step which you have to try out. There is one more step which you have to try out. That is all about, we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So this did work. So when you click on this particular link in the description, that will take you to this page. Over here, we have two options that is for x86, x64. So first thing we need to know what is actually is ours. So for that reason, we have to go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to go to settings. Now from here, once you go for system, scroll down and navigate to about. Over here, you will be able to understand whether you are on 64-bit operating system or you are on 86-bit operating system. So here in my case, I'm on 64-bit operating system. So just click on this one. Now we have to go back. I mean, just go back to this, download this one. And after the successfully downloaded, install this one. And once it install is successfully done, you just have to uh, restart the PC and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about after this, we have to perform a clean boot. That is what you have to try. So for that, just go to search, go for system configuration, go for services and click on disable all. And uh, once it is hide all Microsoft services is being selected, you'll be grayed out for this here as you can see, but not this, this is not be the same case for you. One hide all Microsoft is done. So here I am very recently done this. So that is why it is disable. Just click on disable all. They will be asking you for a restart. Go for a restart and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we have to roll back the drivers. So why to roll back the drivers? Because what happens is for some users, when they end up in the latest version of graphics card, that is, which I mentioned 528.46, which released on the February, the issue become more severe. So that is the case, which is what they did, what they need to do is they just need to do like this. They just need to roll back the driver. For that, they just have to right click, go to device manager, go to display adapters, click on NVIDIA GeForce RTX, which is mine, right click and go for properties, go to driver. There is an option to roll back the driver. Just click on roll back driver so that you will be in the previous version, then try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we have to disable Steam overlay as well as close all the overclocking application. For first thing, disabling the Steam overlay, right click and go to properties. Over here under general, make sure the enable the Steam overlay should be unchecked. And this is what you have to do. After this, try to play the game. Next one, give few commands in the launch option. That is just go to properties. Over here in the launch option, give the command that is DX11 and DX12. So over here, just give the command that is first one DX11. Try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. If this is not going to work, we have to change this to DX12. Then try to play the game. So if both the commands are given and if it's not working, just remove everything. Then close this one and try to play the game as well. 
Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. That is what you have to do. And before that, there is one more step. Sometimes overclocking applications can bring a lot of issue. That is like applications like Discord, Riva Tuner and all those things. So what we have to do is we just have to click on this one. Now from here, go to Task Manager. Over here, what we have to do is, as you can see, now I'm using only few things, but there are 91 apps as well as running in the background, which is draining out my performance as well. So what I have to do is I just have to scroll down and navigate to uh, apps like Discord. I have to end the task because Discord drain out a lot of performance and sometimes I have to do for LG Hub, etc. And I have to do for many more things. So I have to do them one by one. This is what I have to do. And I have to do this for everything. And once it is successfully done, try to play the game as well. Next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, go for graphics setting. Over here, as you can see here, I have already added many games. You have to do the same. So here, that's why I said we need to know. Here we click on browse. You should be knowing where the game is installed. So that is why I said this is an important step. So just click on local C, go to program file x86, scroll down to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, what we have to do is we just have to go to destiny, select the application over here, then just go for add it. So once it is added, just click on this one. Now we have to click on option. So by default, this would be let windows decide. So you have to change this to high option, high performance, because what happens is when you're trying to launch the game, the graphics card will be using maximum. So there will not be any kind of uh, an issue with that on the crashing and all those things. Just go for save. And once you're done with this, just try to play the game as well. Next one is all about we have to update windows. That is for running a game, we need a good OS. For that reason, go to settings. Go to system over here or go to windows update at the bottom. Now update the windows and install the latest version. If any updates are there, just, just try to play the game. Next one is all about we have to in increase virtual memory. For that reason, we have to go over here. Go for view advanced system setting. Now click on advanced, go for setting, then go to advanced. Now from here, click on change. And over here, it is an important you have to select the game where the local uh, game is installed. I mean, you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. Over here, as you can see, the local disk is C and that is what you have to do. Okay, so just select local disk C where the game is installed. You have to select the local disk where the game is installed. Now click on custom size. We have to give the value for initial size and maximum size. So first I need to know what is my RAM for that. Just go to setting, go to system, scroll down and navigate to over here and go to about. Over here, 32 GB is my RAM. So this is how you can find what is your RAM. Once you find out what is your RAM, just go over here, go back to the calculator and we need to do few calculation. Then what you need to do is we just need to multiply 32 GB into 1024. That is a conversion value. That is 32,768. Next one is all about we have to multiply it with 1.5 times because 1.5 times is the maxim, uh, the minimum size. That is just give the initial size. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. So what we have to do is we just have to 32 GB is my RAM. I have to multiply 1024 because that is the conversion value. That is 32,768. Now I have to multiply it with three because maximum size is three times the total RAM. Just copy this and paste it and go for OK. And once it is done, just try to play the game. Then last and the least one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So over here, just go to Destiny 2 and go for manage and uninstall the game. Once it is done, uh, you have to reinstall it back. When you're doing this, keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk because here in my case, I'm only having local disk one. So when you uninstall a game on from one disk, try to install it on any other, uh, other disk, then that will be only helping guys to fix the issue up. So that is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Destiny 2 light file is crashing. It is not launching, freezing and stuttering, won't launch low FPS drop and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much. Bye bye.